so let us recall what we have did in the previous lecture in the previous lecture we have discussed about the open set so what is the open set if you have a x which is a matrix space and g is a subset of x if you want to say that this g is an open set if for every point in g there exist an r greater than 0 such that there is a neighborhood of that point which entirely inside g this is the definition of open set then we have discussed the interior point so you required x which is a matrix space g is a subset of that if i want to say that a point x which is in g it's called the interior point of g if there exist some neighborhood of r such that that neighborhood lies inside g then we can say that x is the neighbor uh, is a interior point of g then we have defined the interior of a set so what is the interior of a set is actually denoted by interior of g and which is the set of all points in g such that there exist r greater than 0 sr of x which is a subset of g so it is a set of all interior points of g so interior of g is the set of all interior points of g it is defined as interior of a set afterwards we have defined the limit point of a set so how the limit point of a set is defined you required x will be a matrix space and g will be a subset of x if you want to say that this x is a limit point but now the x will not be in g but it is in x so this x it's called the limit point of g if sr of x minus x intersection with g is non empty for every r greater than 0 that means for every open sphere of x except x that means except its center that should be some intersection with the set then x is called the limit point of g so this was we have discussed in the previous lecture and we have also discussed the examples of each of the property or each of the definition we have seen the example also now the next concept that we are discussing here it is about the closed set so to define a closed set you require a matrix space so let x comma d be a matrix space and f will be a subset of x f it's called a closed set if it contains each of its limit point so if the set contains all its limit points then it's called the closed it is like a sitting on a closed room so when i can say i am 
sitting on a closed room in some sense we have talked in when we are defining the open set that we don't have a room wall in that when we are defining open set then we have discussed that but now we required a wall as well as inside portion is when i can say that i'm sitting on a closed room so that closeness will be defined as a set of all limit points are in the set then it is called the closed set so for example if i can say if you remember the examples of a limit point if we can have the x as a real line and a set a which is i can say it is open interval 0 1 then the limit point of this set a are so the set of da is actually denoted as the set of all limit point this is the notation in some of the book they are using and here we follow this no notation in the book of gf simons they have not used this is as a definition uh, notation but in other books they are using this as a, this is as a notation so i am using this as a notation so what is the limit point what are the limit points of this set 0 comma 1 if you have remember can somebody tell me if x is a real line with usual metric what are the limit points of this closed interval 0 1 sorry open interval 0 so if you can remember that what we have is a real line on that we have a set which is open interval 0 1 if i pick up any point outside this interval and if i can draw a neighborhood of that and if i remove this then i can able to draw some neighborhood which is not intersecting this open interval 0 1 so that's why i can say that any point outside this interval is not an limit point but if i pick up one now and if i draw a neighborhood of one so that neighborhood always contains this portion in it and i remove the center from it center is already not included here so this portion is always having the intersection with any open sphere you will pick so that's why one is an limit point of this set same way if i pick up any point inside this interval if i draw a neighborhood of that it's always having the intersection with that so any point which is inside this interval it's also having the limit point and also same argument can be given for zero so in general what we can say is the limit points of this set a are closed interval 0 1 since this a does not contains 0 and 1 so i can say that a is not a closed set because it says that it contains all its limit points then that set is closed called closed set if i define a set b as closed interval 0 1 then i can say that b is a closed set so this is the first example this will be the second example let us take the third also we also talked about this set set a1 if i define like this 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 up to so on this set is not a closed set yes i will 
I am talking with R with the usual metric. Okay. So when I say it is a, not a closed set with this metric as a subset of R with the usual metric, and with the uh, why this is not a closed set because we know that a zero is the only limit point of a one. This we already discussed in previous lecture. So if I have if I, if I can define a set a two. Which is zero, one, one by two, up to so on. Then this is the closed set. In the similar manner, we can have any singleton set X. Can I say the singleton set X with usual metric as a subset of R is a closed set or not? What is your argument? What do you say? If I have a singleton set as a subset of R, can I say that the singleton element? Is in closed set. No, sir. No. What are the limit points of X? Singleton set X. So five. Five. Yeah. So can I say that all the limit points of X, the singleton set X, is contained in X because there is no limit point. There are no limit points of this, so all the limit point of this set X is contained in X. First of all, let us give the argument why the limit point of this set is phi, because you can draw a neighborhood, any neighborhood of this, and if I remove that center from it, so I can say that S R of X, any neighborhood for all R greater than zero. For all r greater than zero, S R of x minus x intersection with singleton set is always phi. Okay, so I can say that therefore for any x, or I can say uh, there is no limit point of x, and this is true for any x. Therefore, this singleton set X has no limit point. So I can say that D of D A of the singleton set X is phi. So can I say that now the, all the limit points of the singleton set X is in X because there is no limit point. So all the limit points are in the set. So therefore, the singleton set X is a closed set. Singleton set is always a closed set. Any singleton set you can think of. It is always a closed set as a subset of R. Fifth example: If I can have the finite set, like let's say x1, x2, up to xn, as a subset of R. What is R? These points are in this set with usual metric. What you can say about this set? Will it be a closed set or not? Will it be closed set or not? Yes, sir. It will be closed. Yeah, with the same argument, it will be a closed set. As we have did for the singleton element, the same argument can be given for each and every elements here. So this set, let's say this is C. The C is a closed set. In fact, what I can say from this, any finite subset. 
of R with usual metric is a closed set. So if you can pick up any finite subset of R, it will be a closed set. These are the some exercise I am giving you to work out by yourself. Check whether the natural number, set of all natural number as a subset of R is a closed set or not. Z, Q, Q complement. These are the some of the exercise I am giving you to check whether they are the closed sets or not. Okay. As a subset of R with usual metric. So uh, we are not changing our metric. We can work out in this example. Now let us discuss some properties of uh, this closed set. In that the first property which we can have like open set. In the open set we have proved that the empty set and the entire set is open set. In a similar manner, we can also can say that phi and x are closed sets. So if x is any matrix space, then prove that Phi and X are closed set. Let's have the proof for this. So why the result is true for Phi? Can somebody give me argument? Why Phi is a closed set? So, to see it is a closed set, you have to see what are the limit points of phi. So, how many limit points of phi has? Yeah, phi does not contain any point. So, whenever you pick up any point in this, it's always except that point always the intersection will be phi so there is no point in phi which is a limit point of the set so we can say that the set phi has no limit point therefore i can say that it contains all its limit point. Therefore, phi is a closed set. Why x is a closed set? That means entire set x. So this entire set x contains actually all points. And limit point will not be outside that set. So automatically it will contain its limit point. So that's why X is a closed set. We can write since the full set X contains all points it automatically contains its limit points therefore x is a closed set Okay. 
So the entire set X is a closed set and the empty set X is a closed set. Now let us observe regarding some property of or I can say a relation between open set and closed set. What you will feel? What should be the relation between open set and closed set? Let us see the y example. We have seen that if I consider x is equal to r with usual metric, and if I define a set A as open interval 0, 1, then we know that this A is a closed set. Is it have written correct statement? Is this A is a closed set? That means all of you are sleeping. No, sir. A is open. Just pre in previous slide we have discussed that. This is the set we have defined and we have said that it is not closed. And I have written statement here that it is not, it is a closed set. So this is not correct, it is open set. It is not closed, it is open. What you can say about its complement? Complement of closed interval 0. So how the complement can be written? This is closed interval 0, 1 as a subset of R. So this set is nothing but the open infinity to close 0 union close 1 to open infinity. This is the complement of this set. What will be the limit points? What are the limit points of this set? Now we can talk that. Can I say that any point here on this side to 0 will be a limit point? Yes, because then when I draw any neighborhood of this, it will always have an intersection with this light white line. Any neighborhood we can say. Can I say 0 is a limit point of that set? Yes, when I say uh, any neighborhood of that, it will always have in the intersection with this. Can I say any point on this side will have an intersection with A complement? Yes, because when I have any neighborhood of that except that point will always have intersection with that. Can I say 1 is a li limit point? Yes. What about any point inside this interval? If I have a point here, I can able to draw a neighborhood which is not inside this or which will be not intersecting this A complement. So any point in this open interval will not be a limit point. So what are the limit point of this set? It is itself. So can I say that A complement is a closed set? So what is the relation we got? For example, we are sitting in a room. Okay, if we can have it in R, R3. So when I when I sitting in the closed room, suppose I'm sitting here inside this, and it is a closed set. What about its complement? What you can say about its complement? What will be the outside wall? Will it you say it is open? Obviously, in our our day-to-day -day life, when we are sitting in a closed room, our outside world, whenever we are out 
of that room. We are entering into the open area. Okay, so that is a relation between a closed set and the open set. So the relation says that if a set is closed, then its complement will be open. Okay. So this is the theorem we need to discuss here, and that is a relation between closed and open set. So let us write the statement. Let X be a metric space. And F will be a subset of X. Prove that F is a closed if and only if F complement is open. So if F is a closed set, its complement will be open set. And this is true for any metric space X V. Let us discuss the proof for this statement. So suppose that F is a closed set. What to prove? F complement is open. So whenever you want to prove that a complement is open, you have to say, or whenever you want to prove that any set is open, you have to prove that for every x in that set, there exists some neighborhood of that point, such that that neighborhood is lies inside that complement or that set. So for every neighborhood, or I can say, I can prove that every point is a interior point of that set. That is on one other way is to looking at the situation. So there are many ways to do this. I'm showing here one of the way. So first of all, when I start with X, it belongs to F complement, it has to be some point has to be there. So there were, therefore, there will be two cases. Case number one. If F complement is empty. And we know that empty set is always an open set. Pi is an open. That implies F complement is open. So if, if the set does not contain and nothing, it does not contain any point, then we'll have this. Case number two, if complement is not equal to phi, then for any x belongs to f complement. We have to show this. So if it is not in F complement, that means we can say that F is not, sorry, F is belongs to F complement, we can say that F is not in F. This X is not in F. But F, we have assumed it is a closed set. Since F is a closed set, and X does not belongs to F, so I can definitely say that X is not a limit point of that set. Because if it is F is a closed set, then it will contain all its limit point. So that's why this X is not a limit point of F. Now we can have the negative or negation of the statement. So what is the definition of limit point 
which we have defined let's say x it's called the limit point of f then what will be the negation uh, what is this, what we can say for every r greater than 0 sr of x minus x intersection with f will be non empty so this will be the definition of a limit point what we got here x is not a limit point of f that means we have to see what is the negation of this statement so in the same way a negation of the continuous definition is there so can somebody give me a negation of this statement so instead of for every r greater than 0 what should we really have therefore instead of for every r what we have any r it say that x is not a limit point now we have a statement x is not a limit point of so instead of for every r for each r instead of instead of each r what will have there exist some positive r greater than or positive r or if i can say some r greater than 0 such that the sr of x minus x intersection with f is equal to phi so instead of not equal to phi we will have a phi now what will be this situation you just look at it this situation draw a venn diagram and uh, see what will be this situation you have so let us see that so you will have this is your x set x is there and that is inside some f that is there so this is your set f it says that what is this says this x it is in complement so obviously the point x it is in complement here this is at complement except this f the point is outside and it is saying that there is some neighborhood so there is some neighborhood of this r x except that point x it will be fine so that means intersection of this set sr of x so this is your sr of x and the set f is fine this is the exactly the this thing we have written or we have drawn as a diagram so where is this sr of x i can say So instead of writing this statement, I also can write the same way is SR of X intersection F is empty. I also can write this. Why? Because your point X is never in F because we have assumed that the X is in complement. So we can have this. So exactly the same figure I have drawn here. So from this statement, what we can write? Therefore, can I say there exists r greater than 0 such that how I can write this statement now? Can I say this sr of x is a subset of f complement? Is this exactly the same because this sr of x is a subset of f complement and that exactly we need to prove that for every x in f complement there exists some neighborhood of that will entirely contain in that set so therefore i can say that f complement is an open set and which proves our 
one part that is f is close implies f complement is open now conversely suppose that we'll assume f complement is an open set now to prove we have to prove that f is closed set when you want you want to prove that f is closed you have to show that all the limit points of this set f is entirely in that set that is the way to define see the closeness now there will be two possibility here also is there case number 1 it may possible this f contains nothing that means f is com empty or i can say f complement is empty because we have it is an open set so let us assume that its complement is so in that case f will be x the complement is empty f will be x which is already closed set because we have proved that the entire set full set is always a closed set. so that proves the thing case number 2 let's take this complement is non empty so for any because this set is open set so for every point in this complement will have some neighborhood or i can say so let us start with let x belongs to f complement and we know that f complement is open so as per the definition of open set we may we say that there exist an open sphere sr of x of x such that sr of x is a subset of f complement so again by the same figure which we have drawn here this sr of x is a subset of f complement that means the intersection between this sr of x and f will be empty so i can say that therefore an open sphere of x such that sr of x intersection with f which will be empty so this statement also i can write down that therefore there exist an open sphere sr of x of x such that sr of x minus x intersection with f is non empty so this will say that this is actually a negation of the limit point definition which we have discussed earlier so they will say that x is not a limit point of f so what we have proved actually we have proved that you pick up any point in complement and that point will not be a limit point of that set f that means all the limit points of f will contain in f not in any complement in its complement there is no limit point so all the limit points has to be inside f 
that's why f is closed so we can write since x is an arbitrary point from f complement we say that f contains all its limit points therefore f is a closed set so this will prove that the statement is the converse part that is complement is open implies f is closed so ultimately what we got is whenever you want to prove that something is closed you simultaneously you use that complement is open and if you want to prove that something is open then you can use the closeness and both this quantities are related to in this sense Let's have the next definition. Is about the closed sphere. So as we have discussed the open sphere in the same manner, we can able to discuss about the closed sphere. So if you have x zero is a point in a metric space X. and r is a non negative real number in the closed sphere can somebody give me definition of a closed sphere can somebody try to define a closed sphere of x 0 with radius r is defined as yes anyone it is a set of all x such that d of x minus or d of x comma x zero is less than or equal to r, and it is denoted by S R of box x zero. Instead of we are writing in the definition of open sphere, we have Use the open box here. Here we have used closed box, and this is less than or equal to sign. So this is the definition of closed sphere. Instead of less than, we have less than or equal to here. So that is the difference in the definition of closed and So what are the now my question is what are the closed sphere in real life what are the closed sphere in the real life with usual metric Yes, anyone? So, if I have this is a point x, let's say one. So, what will be the closed sphere of one on a real line? What will be the open sphere? It is an open interval one minus r to one plus r. This is the open sphere. 
or open interval. So it is a closed. So it is a closed interval from one minus r to one plus r. So the closed pair in real line, they are the closed intervals. And we already proved that the open sphere is open. So, in the similar manner, what should be the next result that we have is the closed sphere is always a closed set. So, if you have X is a matrix space, then prove that. Closed sphere SR of X zero is a closed set for X belongs to X and R greater than zero. So to prove this one, there are many ways to do this. I am approaching in the way that a relation between open set and closed set. So I want to prove that this is a closed set. I will prove that its complement will be open. So we, if I prove that this complement is open, then our objective is over by relation between closed set and open set. So it is given that. SR of X zero is a closed set. Sorry, is a closed sphere. What to prove? SR of X zero is a closed set that we need to prove. So it is sufficient to prove that. SR of X zero complement is an open set. So something you want to prove it is open. You have to start with the point in that set, any arbitrary point in that set, and you have to show that that point will have a neighborhood which is entirely inside that set. So that is the way to define or to prove something is open. So I'll start with, let's say, take any R or any X belongs to S R of X zero complement. Then what's the relation between? What will be the distance between X and X zero? Can somebody tell me what is the distance between x and x zero? If S R of x, this x is belongs to its complement. S R of x zero, this closed set is defined as set of all points such that x and x zero is less than or equal to R. This is the definition of S R of x zero. So, if it is in complement, what is the distance between this two x and x zero? So more than R. More than R. So that is, I can say, greater than R. And if I call this statement as one. Okay. Now, what is the situation you have? This is your set X, if I can say. And if I have this neighbor, uh, this uh, open, sorry, closed sphere, this S. R of x zero, and the point x which is outside this set, the distance between this and this one is greater than R. I have to choose some neighborhood of this x. I want to find out some neighborhood of this set. So. This neighborhood is entirely inside its complement. It will never intersect this 
red sphere how to find out such sphere so what should be the radius i have to choose r1 can somebody tell me what should be the radius i can choose so this distance will never or this sphere never cross this one the distance between this and this center it will be this d of x for my x and you have given that this distance is always greater than r so that my this point is outside this x point is outside this red sphere so what should be this r1 i can take so that is the key point i can take r1 will be will be this distance minus r so i can take this distance that is whole distance minus this distance so that will gives me the r1 so that's why i will choose d of x comma x0 minus r and which is greater than 0 always due to 1 what we need to prove now we need to prove that s r of r1 of x that means a neighborhood of this that is a green neighborhood is lies inside a complement of this that is s r of x complement this is our objective now so for that i need to take one point here and i have to show that that point is in that set so let y belongs to s r1 of x so this will gives you distance between x and y will be less than r1 i will call the statement as second statement by triangle inequality what we can say is distance between x and x0 is less than or equal to distance between x and y plus y and x0 so from this what we can get distance between y and x0 because that i want to prove the distance between y and x0 is greater than r that i need to prove so because i want to prove that it is in complement so the distance between x x0 and y will be greater than r if i can prove that then it is true so that's why just looking at what is distance between y and x0 that will gives you greater than or equal to distance between x and x0 minus xy which will be greater than or equal to distance between x and x0 minus r1 because distance between x and y due to 2 a minus of this will change this sign so i can say this is due to the equation 2 in fact this is strictly greater than and that is equal to distance between x and x0 minus r this is due to 1 inequality 1 for equality 1 we have assume not this is i can say this is star let's say this not 1 so this is star due to star we have this and you can just see that this is exactly the r so therefore the distance between y and x0 is greater than r so hence what we can say y it is in belongs to complement of this set so 
एस आर वन ऑफ एक्स इज ए सबसेट ऑफ एस आर ऑफ एक्स जीरो कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो दे फोर द कॉम्प्लीमेंट is a open set therefore the set is a closed set and which proves the statement that the closed sphere is always and closed set now with the help of uh, the same result which we have discussed earlier regarding union of open set is open and finite intersection of open set is open can somebody tell me what should be the statement for closed set we have so in the open set what we have proved If G one G one G two up to G n is a closed set, then their intersection, finite intersection, is a closed set. That we have proved. In the second statement, we prove that if G alpha, where alpha belongs to some index, then union of this G alpha, arbitrary union of open set, is open. If each of this G alpha is open. Here is also each of this G n are open. Then we can say that the intersection is open, finite intersection, and the arbitrary union is open. So I am saying that with the same thing, what should be the statement I can make out for closed set? So let X be a metric space. Then prove that. Can somebody instead of can I say that arbitrary union of closed set is closed or something different statement is there? Any arbitrary in, instead of union we have intersection in the case of closed. So any arbitrary intersection. Closed set is closed set. Second, any finite union of closed set. is a closed set so these are the two statements we can have that means intersection of closed set is closed finite union of a closed set is closed so completely different than open thing obviously why it is so is due to the relation between the open set and closed set and using that only we can prove this two statement so suppose that f alpha where alpha is some index is a family of closed set in x since this is a closed set we can say that its complement is an open or is a family of open sets and we have already results for arbitrary union of open set is open so we can say that the union of alpha belongs to lambda 
f of alpha complement is an open set and by de moros de morgan law what is the de morgan's law de morgan's law says that yes anyone if i want to take this complement out then it is intersection alpha belongs to lambda so this is known as a de morgan's law so we are applying the de morgan's law here if i apply the de morgan's law this we can write on intersection of f alpha alpha belongs to lambda complement is open so hence this is closed its complement will be closed set so that's prove that the finite sorry arbitrary intersection of a closed set so i have taken a family of a closed set i have proved that its intersection is closed so the finite arbitrary intersection of a closed set is a closed second statement if i have f1 f2 up to fn are closed set then we know that its complement f1 complement f2 complement up to fn complements are open since they are open we can say that their intersection is open due to the this statement that g1 g2 up to gn are open their intersection finite intersection is an open set so due to that we can say that this is open again by using the de morgan's theorem that means this complement i can take out then the inequality will sorry this union intersection will change to union so that will gives you union running from 1 to infinity f i complement is open and therefore their complement the complement of this complement will be the set itself is a closed set so we have proved that if you have f1 f2 up to fn are closed set there their finite intersect union finite union of a closed set will be a closed set so that proves the statement that the finite union of a closed set is closed and arbitrary intersection of a closed set will be closed and with that we can complete or we can stop here if you have any question you can ask yes any question